First question is from Og Doku. If you have food intolerances, do you still derive the nutritional value from those foods? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, it's kind of a that's kind of a general question, but um, I I can say with pretty good confidence that no, not necessarily for a few different reasons, right? Hmm. So, when you have a food that your body reacts to, you do get an immune response, uh, which changes hormones a little bit, causes more inflammation may reduce your ability to absorb and utilize nutrients. Um, and also, when you have this kind of elevated, low-level immune response in the body, it does make it harder for you to do things like build muscle mm. and, and burn body fat. So from that standpoint, you definitely want to avoid food intolerances. The, the, it's not this – is, see, this is one of the reasons why you know just counting calories and macros – isn't really um, everything. Um, the, there's a lot more in the details, and the, your your body's so unique that how you react to the food also can play a role. Like for example, and I'll use an extreme example, right? Like dairy. I don't have an, a dairy allergy, but I have a pretty bad intolerance to dairy. Justin, on the other hand, um, can you know he can oh, drink and, all the dairy. He can drink and yeah. bathe in it, yeah. and he's probably okay. I am the dairy queen. <laughs> and so, let's say he drinks a uh, you know half a gallon of milk, and I drink a half a gallon of milk. Am I going to get the same effect from the protein, the carbs, and the fats that he will? No, I highly doubt it. I think it's going to cause a lot of inflammation, reduce my body's ability to absorb things. I'll get gastro issues. And I'm not going to get the great results. So uh, it, this is something you should definitely pay attention to. I think this is an interesting question, though, because I also think of it like as a new world problem. You know, you know like <laughs> in terms of like if there's food out there and I'm starving and I'm trying to get some food and that's like that's true. you're trying to say like you can't get any nutritional value from something that's going to make your tummy a little upset. Yeah. Um, I mean, but at the same time, let's let's say it gives you diarrhea and let's say that's something you get super dehydrated and now that's a problem you're going to be battling out in the wild too. So uh, I, I don't know, man. I guess it just depends, but it Obviously, over time, we're talking about something that you're going to be constantly eating all the time. Well, so that's uh, in terms of frequency, uh, you know, that could have more detriment to you than uh, just getting it for the nutrients. Well, along those lines, okay, diarrhea, gastro issues, constipation were big, would have caused big problems for people. Sure, yeah. Uh, could lead to death back in the day. Oh, diarrhea is a, co a leading cause of death in uh, third world countries, uh, for sure. Mm -hmm. Lots of people die from diarrhea all the time. Um, what's that show where they put him in the Arctic? Remember that? Alive? No, what was it called? Oh, Alone. Yeah, Alone. Alone. Yeah. Uh, remember that girl who she was doing great, but she got so constipated yeah, that yeah. she had to leave because yes. she couldn't. So, you know, food intolerances are no joke, but that's the extreme. Like, let's forget yeah. the extreme. Let's just say you get bloated or you get a little bit of gastro issues or a little bit of inflammation. It's a, it's probably a small effect, but it's cumulative, you know, over, over the years, are you going to get the same benefit? As if you were eating foods that you your body was you know, worked well with. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think probably so. not. No, yeah. probably not.